So these are the bits we're going to need to make the Thanksgiving centerpiece. Some brown pipe cleaner, a couple of circles, cardboard, piece of crayon, some cutout leaves, some styrofoam balls, a little bit of glitter decoration I pulled from a, an old centerpiece I had, and this is a little acorn. I'll show, we'll talk about that later. That's um, little walnuts. Let's first cut out little circles. This is just plain card. And the size of the circles, you know, the, the larger one in um, inches is about an inch and a quarter. The smaller one is about an inch or centimeters. The smaller one is about two and a half centimeters. The larger one is about three centimeters. So it's just a little cap and like that. That's one. And then a smaller cap, as you can see, a little smaller for the inside. And you do that as well. I use scissors. But when you do cut with scissors, you'll end up with a little bit of jaggedy edges. And I find it really easy to just take this is a little piece of foam glued some sanding paper to it. And I just cut off the rough edges. Now in this project it doesn't really matter because it's going to be rather covered. And you do the same thing with the other one. So glue these two together. I use just plain uh, I, use, I like to use wood glue for a lot of projects. Like so. Like that. Now you'll see why I've done that. You don't really have to but I just thought it gave it a bit more dimension. Maybe while that dries, I'll show you the tools. Clippers, something to cut the, um, the pipe cleaner. Uh, we'll need an embossing tool, a toothpick for glue. Like I say, I've used Tight Bond. This is my preferred glue for just about anything. I use it on fabric, on wood, on, on um, card, uh, paper. Um, and you'll need some brown paint. I picked brown for this. Instead of paint, you can also use a marker or some wood stain works well too. And I prefer the marker or the wood stain because it dries faster. Pencil that you just saw me use. Um, a little bit of sandpaper. Uh, like I told you, I put it around a piece of styrofoam. It's nice to have a flat one. You can get these from the dollar store nail files, but I have a particular uh, sandpaper that I like to use. Uh, I think that's all what we need to do now is paint this, and I've chosen to paint it brown. This is uh, depends on your personal preference as well. I mean, you could paint it green, you could paint it orange. This is your centerpiece for your decorations, and I'll just do that. I'm just using the lid because usually you get lots on the lid here. Nothing spectacular on the paint and you'll see my hands will gradually go from clean to not so clean because I like to use my hands and see there's nothing really uh, very fancy with it. I'll put this in water and I will let's see I'll put that on top of this to dry. The next thing you need to do shape the piece of pipe cleaner. Now you may want to do orange because this pipe cleaner is going to go on top. This particular orange one that I have is um, um, is narrow so if it's really narrow just bend it bend it together do it like that. Now I have a piece of orange that is a little thicker than what we started with. You can choose to to do orange and brown. This is what's going to go around your circles. Or you can also do white. Um, if you don't have any of those other colors, don't go out and buy it because take the white and as you can see what I've done here is I've painted it and I can use a marker like this. This is what I've 
done to show you put it over here and simply color the the white to the brown that you like again i'm using a marker because it dries nice and quickly if i use there you go see you can get a nice brown just about the same brown as that or you can you can paint it the color that you like i'm going to use the brown so to get this to the that round shape as you can see it, it would be difficult for gluing what i've done is i've shaped it sort of trained it to be going in a round bit in a round shape so now you have something that's not going to be so hard to shape into this round because this is what i'm going to do okay so now we have this I've done the second coat on the bottom, so it's a bit even, and we have it dry. We're going to cut the pipe cleaner down to the size that we need to put over it. So what I've done, is I've cut a little bit longer so that I could twist it together. That, that way I know that it's going to stay. And there it is. That's going to do this. Now, my intent was that this would look like foliage, old brown foliage. I will show you how that goes from being smooth, I don't know if you can tell here, smooth, to this more um, kind of um, rough looking, foliagey looking. Um, so, we will glue this down again just with my regular wood glue or any PVA glue, any um, white glue will do. But I like this one because I think I mentioned to you it dries fast, clear, and, and then take the bit and lay it down. And in no time at all, it will be dry, so you might want to do that like this. And these little clips are wonderful. There you go. Leave it there. While that dries, I will show you how to do the little embossing on the little leaves that we have. I'm going to need the leaves do the embossing of the leaves or I also used as you can see this one is well loved so anyway I like this one kind too it's kind of nice thick foam and just run some veins or do a little bit of shaping we're not going to use all of these um, just do a little bit of shaping on the leaves here I have this kind um, just so that they're not so flat and not really giving them veins. You won't see much of the leaf. You just want to do a little bit of shaping. You can also use your hand to do some shaping with. And there'll be some that way, some this way. Got a nice little round one. I like these. The oak leaves. And so these are nice. It's from a punch. These are, this is all, always also comes with it. You notice they're not all perfect. Some of them are cut at the bottom um, because realistically when you're picking these up from the ground from where the trees are most of the time they won't be all perfect as you can see I'm not being extraordinarily careful with these it's just to shape them a little bit as you can tell these were punched out from paper I had painted and then I punched the other one side is yellow and green um, these red ones were just from some paper. I think they were handmade papers Th these were also painted um, paper painted and there are some leaves now so we'll set that aside it's easy as that then we're going to use a bit of a crayon 
and the crayon that I've picked for this one is red. You may want your centerpiece to have a red candle because this is what this is going to be. It's going to be the red candle by the foliage and baubles we're putting in the back and the bottom. Now you notice that it's not really a candle unless it has a little bit of wicking. So put a little bit of um, little hole with your toothpick and then you're going to need a little bit of thread. So I'm going to use a piece of thread which I will add a little bit of glue to just to make it a little thicker, a bit more substance. Here's the little hole that we've made sticking that inside the hole. I know it's long right now when it's dry. I've cut it down to size now. don't really need to dry it. So I like that little bit. And we use, we could do a, a yellow one, an orange one, or even a green one. Don't happen to have a green one here. But here's a little hint. Michael's is now selling crayons just the colors that you want. You don't have to buy a whole set of colors just to get the colors that you need. You can actually go there and just pick old purples or yellows, oranges, or, or the colors that you would most use. I found that was interesting the other day. Um, after throwing out many, many bits of crayons from the, when the kids were young. Now, the baubles that I'm going to use in the centerpiece, um, we're all very familiar with this. And twigs for autumn uh, flowers. They come with other foliage. Michael's, Dollar Store, and these ones were just orange and yellows, and I also had uh, some green ones. Now, these are shiny, and I also found um, ones that were not shiny. A whole bunch here. I know that they look like they're broken, but you hide that, so it doesn't really matter. Um, saved a whole bunch. Uh, to use in the projects. So in this one, th these two got came stuck together. So I'm going to use these two. And I think I'm going to use this green one. But then there's also this pretty one. Oh, maybe I'll use this pretty one. I really like it shiny. So to get this shine away, there is matte top coat um, nail polish. It's actually matte. So if you put that on your item, it'll turn the shine into a matte finish um, like that. But another thing, if you don't want to really go out there and get that, you simply take some glue and you run it over. Here's a chance for you to get glue all over your fingers. So you run that on the shine and when it dries, you get the color, but it takes away the shine. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of shine on, on these two and then this one that's not shiny or I use these three, maybe one of each. And then there's this little bit of glitter that, I don't know, this is kind of a, a foliage thing from a Christmas ornament, but I wanted a little bit of the red in there. And these are acorns. Now they're actually acorns. Can you see? Let's see here if I focus a little bit. It's an actual acorn. Um, and it's usually stuck together. And that's a little bit bigger and you can actually see the acorn shape. And this is what I've I've gathered. Um, some smaller, see they've got the little twig. And that's pretty too. You know what? I might just use that one with the, with the twig on it. That's pretty. You can find these little pine cones in autumn, beginning of the season, they'll be on, on the ground. And then, yes, these little guys will be my walnuts. They are dried papaya seeds. 
You take the gel off of it, you rub the gel in, on your hand from your papaya seed, and then you have this little, um, it's, it, it's a little nut, so it, it looks like a walnut. To make this kind of look, instead of this fuzzy look, I'm just gonna just apply some glue here and there. And what it what will happen is that some of these some of the furry pipe cleaner material will clump together. You can use your fingers like this. Of course I'd use my fingers. It'll dry clear. It'll dry. We'll dry in little clumps. We'll start off by adding the candle in the middle. Push it back a little bit off center. Be more interesting. It's up to you. It can be the middle and everything around. What do you think? Then we'll add some leaves. Put some facing up, like so. Um, that. I'm going to do this one. Maybe. You're just, all you're doing is decorating. See how it's damaged on the bottom, but it doesn't really matter because you are going to stick this down. So it's now facing down and the bubbles look great. Maybe I'll use that nice little green one I had. Yeah, I'll pluck up a nice little green one. A little bit more interest. And since I'm already here, I'll do that. Like that. And we'll add some more leaves here. Little this little glitter thing. underneath, leaves around, Be like that, how about another, another red one, the ones are so pretty, and maybe, maybe this one will go in there, and you can put as much or as little as you want, put another red one there. I'm going to add three of, of the little walnuts. Two and in the kits I made put a lot more than three because one will surely end up on the floor. Let's put this one. Now I'm very generous with this glue because I know that it dries clear. But if you do not know the glue and you are not sure that it dries clear, then you know don't be as generous with it as I am. Now I'm going to show you one at the end of the video, another one that I've done uh, Instead of round, I've used an oval. What do you think? Finished? Every single one you make could be different. So well, then I thought I'd try this little oval shaped one, which I use an oval lid to do. Draw it out, trace it, fiddle around with the shape to get the oval that I liked, cut around it, use a little foam core. You can glue it onto the bottom as we did with the round one. Find all my little bits and pieces. Then I painted brown, a little less on the fingers, a little more on the 
shape would be nice. And I also painted the um, pipe cleaner because I ran out of brown. And I did use acrylic. With the heater on in the house, it dried up fairly quickly. Shaped it around the oval for better managing. And then I glued it down to the base. Pretty generous with the glue so things can go nice and fast. Usually a little less is better, but this glue dries so fast that I don't mind adding a little extra. Pin it down with the pins and in no time at all it was dry. Then I got to choose the candle size that I wanted and I was going to make them orange. I poked the bottom with a push pin to hold it while I painted. There you go. A little less on the fingers again. Find ways to do things. I'm sure you'll find your own ways to do things as well. I, I did, I cut three from dowels. This time was not candle. And I poked a little hole in the top for the candle wick to go in, which was just a piece of uh, thread. It's a painted dowel is perfect candle as well, or a piece of straw as long as you cover the hole and you start putting them in place. I put one, two, three in a row, but you can put the three of them stacking in one end together and then your decorations on the other side. This is the fun bit. I really enjoyed doing that again. Did a little bit embossing on the leaves, a little shaping, not really embossing, but a little more shaping and lots of glue attached to the base the way that you feel like variation in colors. I find these are very autumn -y kind of colors. And push it all down. I also added some pine cones that I had. Bobbles, three different kinds. This is a lot of glue showing here, but it will all dry clear, I, I promise you. And I also added the walnut shapes that I had. And here they both are. The oval one with three candles and the round one. Here's the round one, all dry, no glue showing. Then I thought, okay, not enough glitter. First I take the glitter off, then I add it back on. I thought it needed a little something, and after I started using the glitter, this is a glitter nail polish, uh, which dries quickly as well. It reminded me more of a Christmas piece, but hey, a little glitter doesn't hurt anyone. And it, it is kind of nice to, to have. Some of us have had already snow before Thanksgiving, so why not? Send me some pictures if you do try them. Would love to see what you come up with. For more tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.